this is a very brief video, um, kind of like vlog that I wanted to put together after my trip out to Vermont. Um, I flew from Milwaukee to the Boston airport. Um, this was my first time actually in Boston. And uh, part of the reason I decided to fly into Boston was because I heard a lot of really great things about the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Um, this actual sculpture in front of the museum is one of two sculptures that were made by the artist Antonio Lopez Garcia, who, if you're familiar with my work, is one of my all-time heroes. And this museum actually showed a very large retrospective of his work, um, I think in 2008 or 2009. So I was going to this museum hoping to maybe see some of his paintings, and they only had that early... Um, like bronze relief piece that was shown right away in the in the slideshow here, um, but I I was really pleased and excited to discover some of their impressionist uh, collection. They had this entire room devoted to um, a very nice selection of Claude Monet paintings. So right now we're looking at a few uh, short video clips of the surface on one of his haystack paintings. Um, I actually was gifted a book on Monet's uh, Haystack series that was published by the MFA here in Boston a couple years ago f during a family Christmas kind of gift exchange. And this particular painting is the cover image for that book. So it was, it was really cool to be able to see the original painting in the flesh um, and really just spend some time trying to make sense of the way that Monet painted and saw light and saw color relativity um, in such bold relationships in his paintings. Uh, it was really inspiring um, to just sit and do some sketching with colored pencils from some of his paintings um, and take a look around this particular room, which then led into um, other periods in art history, like there's a, a lot of Dutch painting rooms, um, some Renaissance paintings, some Baroque paintings. They had a few Velazquez paintings that I was really excited to see. The small sketch in my Moleskine sketchbook was from a little study of uh, one of the subjects in in uh, one of his paintings in that room. Um, and then also, since I've been doing a lot of egg tempera painting recently, I had this new found interest and uh, admiration for earlier paintings um, in, in Renaissance periods that were primarily made with uh, egg tempera and having some experience now with that medium and really being able to relate to the process of working with egg tempera. Um, it was really fun to look at some of those paintings as well. Um, yeah, I got to the museum, I think at about 11 a.m. and they close at 5 p.m. on Sundays. And I, I, I think I left the museum at like 4.48 or 4.50. So I was there the, almost the entire day. And um, I ended up with like 10 or 11,000 steps um, that day since I walked from my hotel to the museum and then was on my feet the whole day in the museum. And uh, I just, yeah, I looked at a lot of different paintings, um, a few sculptures, but mostly was trying to seek out paintings in their collection. Um, and... I really enjoyed seeing some works by uh, Whistler and uh, Sargent as well. Um, there were some really nice paintings um, by Winslow Homer, and uh, I think they even had a few Hopper paintings that I really liked. This was a, a Henry John Henry Twatman uh, painting. Um, so you know, because I've been doing so much plein air painting the last few years, I also was really trying to spend some quality time looking at some of these landscape paintings as well and um, learning some new names that I just haven't really come across uh, in in past trips to museums or through research online. Um, but so many of these paintings in their collection are, are, are pretty well known and iconic and, you know, seeing reproductions never gives you the same interpretation or impression or feeling as standing in front of the original work of art. So this was a very well-timed trip because um, I, I stopped in to that museum 
the day before I rode up to Bellows Falls, Vermont with one of the other artists uh, that was coming in from Arkansas, uh, John Lassiter. So uh, I spent that whole week with John and Charlie and Douglas Fryer, who's an artist out of Utah. And, um, you know, going to a museum and getting all this inspiration was really the best way to, to prime that trip. So the next day on Monday, I had a little bit of time before John's flight came into Boston and uh, I was doing some plein air painting with gouache uh, pretty close to where the hotel room was um, before I eventually caught a lift back to the airport. Um, and these are the, the other artists that I spent the week with. So from the left, it's Charlie and then Doug, myself, and then John. And these are just a couple of pictures I took uh, during the first couple days that we were there. Um, because of weather delays and travel delays, we didn't really start painting together until Tuesday. And um, both John and Doug had to leave pretty early Friday morning. So we really only had like three full days to share the studio together and paint together. Um, but, you know, it was it was a really, really fun week. It was a lot of um, it was a lot of fun just to get to know these artists and to be included and invited to come spend time with them was a big honor for me. So these are the few kind of studies and paintings that I worked on while I was there. Um, and then I also took a few pictures of our Airbnb that we stayed in. That was a really cool house. And uh, this is a little bit of the Bellows Falls area. Here's Charlie's studio cat, Corduroy. I spent half the day on Friday um, kind of taking a few pictures and exploring the downtown area of Bellows Falls. There was a really cool antique shop that I went to. And then I made one last painting with gouache looking out one of his studio windows. Charlie dropped me off with some friends in New Hampshire and then I flew back and was very happy to find a painting by Nicholas Uribe added to our collection. So all in all, it was a really fun and jam-packed week um, and it just reminds me how important it is to get out and see paintings in the real, in the flesh, because uh, we can learn so much from them that way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.